Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to be doing daily technical analysis in gold. First, let us look at the economic calendar. Then we'll look at the DXY dollar index. Then we'll start our technical analysis. So when we look at the economic calendar, we have plenty of low impacting news coming up for most of the major currency pairs. Then at 7.30 p.m. we have a high impacting news for US dollar. Then we have medium impacting news for US dollar coming at the same time. Then we have the medium impacting news at 10 p.m. for Swiss francs. So these are all the news scheduled for today. Please plan your trade entry and exit based on this schedule. Let us look at dollar index. I am in 30 minutes time frame of dollar index. When we look at the price action in 30 minutes time frame, it was continuously in a very nice bullish trend. Here it has broken this trend line, but again it has regained and currently the price action is trading above this support line. It has tested the previous high of 99.366, which was a strong resistance previously. Currently the price action has bounced back from this resistance level and it is on a retracement. Only when it breaks this trend line or the support line, we can expect it to test the next level of support which is going to be around 99.014. And if it breaks all these support levels, next level of support from the higher time frame is going to be around 98.413. So currently the price action in 30 minutes time frame has tested this higher time frame resistance level and it is in a retracement. We can expect it to retrace up to the support level of 98.418 and if the bearish trend is still stronger, we can expect a further fall in DXY. Let us start with our gold analysis. I am in daily time frame of gold US dollar and when we look at the price action, it has gone up, almost tested the level of 1976 and it is in a retracement and I had already mentioned in my past price action it is trying to form a similar price action like a head and shoulder pattern so it has completed the right hand shoulder also so if the price action breaks this support level of 1908 we can expect a further fall and to test the support level of 1876 this is all the price action in the higher time frame so it will take little longer to complete this head and shoulder pattern. Only when it breaks the support level of 1876, we can expect a bearish trend reversal. Currently it is trading around the neckline of the head and shoulder pattern. This is going to be acting as a support for now. And the another reason why it is acting as a very strong support, we had already analyzed that this price action had formed a double bottom pattern and this level of 1908 is acting as a neckline or the support and resistance level. Once it breaks this support level, we can expect a further fall in this currency pair. So for the head and shoulder pattern also and for the double bottom pattern also, this level plays a major role in deciding on the bearish trend reversal. If the price action doesn't manage to break this support zone, we can expect a bounce back on the bullish side. And when we draw the trend line and check the current trend of the market, we can clearly notice that it is trying to break this trend line or the support line. And if the price action breaks this trend line, we can expect it to take support at the support level of 1908. Let us wait and see how these candlesticks forms for today, based on which we can decide on the future price actions. So these are all the support and resistance levels for daily time frame. Let us do the analysis for hourly time frame. I am in hourly time frame now. We have the daily time frame support line or the trend line running over here. And we have one more resistance line from the daily time frame running over here. Previously the price action has taken resistance at this trend line and bounced back on the bearish side. Currently it has taken support on this trend line and we can expect a bounce back on the bullish side from this trend line because this is a 
support line from the higher time frame. Only when it breaks this support level of 1907, we can expect the bearish trend reversal in hourly time frame. Currently, the price action is still in a very nice bullish trend. When we look at the nature of this price actions also, previously it was on a downtrend. And again from here it started its bullish trend and again retraced and took support on this trend line and every time when it retraced you can notice that it took support on this trend line and bounced back on the bullish side. Again I am drawing one more trend line for the current price action. You can notice that currently the price action is taking support on this trend line and it is showing the sign of bullish trend reversal. Let us mark the support and resistance levels for hourly time frame. The price action in green color boxes are the support and resistance levels for hourly time frame. Currently the price action has taken support on this trend line or the support line and it is on a bullish trend reversal. As long as the support level of 1907 is holding, we can expect a sideways market or a bullish trend to continue in hourly time frame. Let us do the analysis in 30 minutes time frame. I am in 30 minutes time frame now. Here we have the trend line from the hourly time frame. And I have drawn one more resistance line for 30 minutes time frame. Previously the price action was in a very nice downtrend. Currently it has taken support on this trend line and it is on a trend reversal or bounce back on the bullish side. As long as it is trading between this resistance line and support line, we can expect a range bound market. But you can already notice that the range is becoming narrower. Wait for it to break on the bullish side or on the bearish side to take a directional trade in 30 minutes time frame. Let us mark the support and resistance levels for 30 minutes time frame. So the values in green color boxes are the support and resistance levels for 30 minutes time frame. Let us do the analysis in 5 minutes time frame. I am in 5 minutes time frame now. As we already know from the 30 minutes time frame, currently the price action has taken support on the hourly time frame, trend line or the support line and it is on a bounce back on the bullish side. So if the bullish trend continues, we can expect it to trend up to the resistance line from the 30 minutes time frame and if the bullish trend is still stronger we can expect it to break this resistance line and to continue with bullish trend but the range is becoming narrower so soon we can expect a breakout from this resistance line or a support line based on which you can go on a directional trades let me mark the support and resistance levels for 5 minutes time frame. So the values in green color boxes are the support and resistance levels for 5 minutes time frame. Currently the price action in 5 minutes time frame is trying to break this trend line from the daily time frame. That's all the analysis for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found this video to be useful, press that like button and share this video with your friends.